Hi, I'm Lydia from ICPC Live, and I have three wonderful people that are sitting together at the table that are not teammates. Can you each introduce yourself, please? I will start. I'm Kostya uh, Savchuk. Uh, I am from Kiev University. Uh, and I guess that's it. I like programming and I also like sports cool. and talking to people. Talking a lot. <laughs> I'm Valera Grinenka. I'm from Kharkiv National University, but I'm on behalf of Energy Team. I'm here as a guest. So that's it. Yes, and I'm Vlad. I'm also a guest here. I used to be a student in Kyiv National University, but now I just enjoy the company with smart people in the great location. <laughs> nice, nice. So party is the most important part. And you all three represent Europe. So you all three competed in the same competitions in South Europe, Southern Europe, you're in Southern regional Europe, contest, right? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, so I will put your knowledge of ICPC World to a test, <laughs> uh, which is going to be exciting. So here I have a tiny whiteboard with our region names. Uh, take a look at this. Nothing is new. There are eight regions in the world of ICPC. Asia Pacific, Asia East, Asia West, Europe, Africa and Arabia, North Eurasia, Latin America and North America. And I will have a few short tasks for you. So I would like you to take this marker, here you go, and I want you to write one university name per each region. Try doing this as fast as possible, but give us a few words. How do you know this university? Why have you written specifically this one? Okay. Yeah. So when we start? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, America, let's write MIT. MIT. Okay, MIT. Yeah. Okay. Just write it. Just write uh, it. Here? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You're right. I'm illiterate. <laughs> Uh, you can write it in here on whiteboard as well, but it's fine. Okay. Let's go. Latin America. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay. So it will be a little easier to see if you write on this part of uh, okay, the whiteboard, okay, okay, but it's okay, fine. Okay. 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 Yeah. Higher School of Economics. That's not an often pick. Good job. For you can write IITB. IITV? I think that's the name. That's some Indian uni. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool, impressive. Okay, uh, so maybe Vietnam? Vietnam? Uh, Which region? State University or something? Where is it? Asia Pacific? Wait, no, in, in, in Asia East? Wait, uh, in Asia... In Asia... Wait. <laughs> I confused these two, I guess, but like... Okay, here maybe some Mexico. <laughs> wait. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, here Cairo. Is Singapore in East Asia? I don't know. Uh, you can just write in US here and maybe we, and maybe it will be a correct National yeah. University of Singapore is on the board. Good. Okay. Uh, Any ideas for Asia Pacific and Latin America? We're a bit, it's confusing. Asia right? Pacific, some maybe uh, like Melbourne or something. That's, yeah? a, that's a good choice. Australia is definitely part of Asia Pacific. And then just Latin America is missing. Okay, I don't know any Mexican universities. It's okay to pass if you feel like it, but I think you can figure out something that sounds oh, like a name. Uh, what is... San Paulo? Oh, yeah, he's from... The it's a guys. city in Latin America. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's okay, just try it. It's okay that, to that's write That's a good it. guess. Uh, we don't know what, which universities or which cities do you know, this is fun. Okay. Okay, good okay, job, good job. There. Uh, yeah, I, I like the call of IATB. There are plenty of IAT universities in, um, in ICPC, so this is definitely something that uh, you actually saved a lot of time for your team. Good job, good job. Okay, this is fun. Uh, another exercise for our uh, region names. You've just thought about a lot of university names, right? Yeah. And I would like you to order regions by the average university name length in English. And so let's start with, out of all these regions, pick one that you think have the single longest university names. We'll put everything at the bottom at this point. And you're welcome to guess. So should it be the average of universities? No, the longest, the longest average. One. No, the longest, the longest average, average from yes. the regions. Yes, names are consistently long for this region. Consistently long. I think it's going to be some Asian. 
quit. Yeah. I think Latin America. I also think Latin America. Okay. Two for three. So Latin America. Uh, yes. we'll, we can, we'll just move it up. Okay. If you think it's Latin America, we'll put it to the top. Uh, it is not Latin America. <laughs> it is Asia West with 40 characters in the university name on average. Uh, the next one, you need to guess two universities that share the second place. Uh, two regions have equal number of average letters in their university names. Try to guessing. Two other Asians? <laughs> yes, it makes sense. <laughs> okay, so let's pick two other. Are you okay yes. with this? Okay, but I think Latin America should have long names. I also think okay, so. Okay, so one Asia and one Latin America. <laughs> no, 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 no. Asia Pacific, I don't think. Maybe Africa and Arabia. No? I would put these two because they're the furthest from me. And okay, let's pick uh, Africa and Arabia and Latin America. Latin America? Yeah. This is precisely correct. Right. 36 letters in a university name on average. Good job, that's a perfect guess. Now you need to figure out one region that is in the third place. Just to give you a hint, they have average length of 33. <sighs> Very helpful. Can be Europe? Or it's not that long? Uh, my theory is that being further from Europe makes it harder to write it in English. <laughs> but I think Asia is will be the short length at average. For some reason, yeah. They have like short seats. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and not, not, not North America is I think. Yeah, North America has English that they have. Short yeah, English. yeah, yeah. So maybe one of these. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think Europe. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm just removing the. <laughs> I'm just removing the the marker from this the. This is further from English-speaking countries, so I will go with this. Okay. Okay, let's go with Northern Eurasia. You are brilliant. You've played this game before. Northern Eurasia is in third place, 33 letters on average. Uh, and then one more time, you need to pick one region that is not equal to the rest. So one region has 29 letters on average. And all three of the rest have equal, roughly equal 26. Uh. My guess would be North America, <laughs> because... <laughs> okay, North America it is. stereotype. <laughs> no, unfortunately, it is not North America, but it is Asia East. And so you guessed two of the remaining four correctly, so this is a very respectable result. Hmm? That would be it. Good job. I think you, you did really well. And you specifically, I think, just knew the, all the right answers. Congrats. You're a good team. Uh, say something like a hi or bye to our viewers here. Bye-bye. Hello again. We are still in Luxor in front of the ICPC registration area. And we have another team here. Where are you guys from? What are your names? Uh, we are UCF Cactus from the University of Central Florida. I'm Jacob. I'm Seba. Daniel. Okay, nice to meet you. Uh, how do you feel? What's, uh, how has the trip been? Uh, well, it's been pretty nice so far. I'll, certainly a long time coming, um, but happy to finally be here. Almost starting to feel real now that we're like getting to the opening ceremony and everything. Yeah. yeah. I think I've taken like three flights that went over midnight in the last week. So I think that's more than a lifetime. I think I think that's enough. Yeah. yeah, I agree. But I hope you can have some rest before the contest here because I think the atmosphere here should be pretty convenient for that. Yeah. yeah. No, the, the atmosphere is really nice. Yeah, Being yeah. right on the Nile, having the view that we have, we're, it's, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, do you feel prepared for the contest itself or uh, not so much? <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 We're, yeah, we're, we're, we, we're, we're very ready. We've been yeah. training continuously. We had to take a little bit of a gap after the postponement in November. Uh, you know, I feel like as many people did just to like, you know, keep our mental up and everything. But since then, we've been getting back into the rhythm of practicing and things have been going pretty well so far. I think I can speak for us pretty confidently saying that, so we're as prepared as we can be. Right. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> how, how often did you usually practice? 
Uh, what we were aiming for, like at minimum uh, once a week, leading up to World Finals, in, uh, originally in November, we were getting up to a pace of two, sometimes three times a week. But in the recent times, it's been a little bit more difficult to schedule things because uh, you know people have started full-time jobs and get more research. So we, it's, scheduling's a little bit more difficult, but at minimum one week, we've been trying to keep up, or once a week. Did you practice harder or like less hard bef right before the finals, before coming here? Oh, um, right before here, I mean, we pretty pretty hard. We were finding every available pass. Like, okay. we, we started a set at 12:30 a.m. one time, just because it was the only <laughs> time that was reasonable with everything that we were doing. So we we will make it work no matter what. <laughs> for, for some definition of reasonable, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some definition, we're all crazy for ICPs. Okay, <laughs> so you're very prepared. Uh, that's that's yeah. that's amazing. Okay, uh, in your team, do you have some kind of roles which you take during the contest? Like, do you solve different types of problems? Do you like do some of you code more or some work more on paper? What's what 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 is it like in your team? I'll let you guys take that. <laughs> all right, well, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, we do have like team dynamic stuff. We all have our like individual strengths. So this is probably our data structures person. Uh, destructive stuff. Yeah, uh, like ad hoc stuff. The, if you see it on app coder, yeah, you know yeah. the problem is where it's like <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. you have to do some. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's just play a small game. We actually have a game which is exactly that. Oh. Okay, uh, cool. So please write the na the university name or like team name at the top, and then your names in three columns. And now I'm going to give you 12 different problem topics, one by one. I give you a topic, and you decide who on your team does that problem. OK, yeah, of course. And then uh, the trick is you are only allowed to assign four to each person. So you have to be careful. You can't just give everything to one person. OK, so you are going to get them one by one. Yes, to yes. so the last oh, one's going to be just kind of random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. All right, I'm about to get pigeonholed into some crazy. Okay, can you just hold it like this so that oh, yeah. we see it on camera, and then like I'll, I'm gonna just give it Here. to one of you. And then, yeah. Yeah. The geo stuff, bro. All right, let's see how this <laughs> goes. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay, the first one is okay. Game theory. Game theory. Ooh. Uh, I feel that like that goes. I, it could go to anybody. It depends on the like you know. It depends on the details of the problem for sure. I feel like any of us could take that, that, but I feel like let's give that to Danny. Yeah, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you just put it's, it's a match. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it's very. Yeah, you don't right. need the match anymore. Yeah. Nice. Okay, the second one is strings. Strings? Oh, strings. Oh, back to that. That, back that, back goes, back that back. goes way back to Danny, too. All right. Okay. Let's okay. Go all the way down. Only four. Only space for four. This is good. He's got. He's covered for like the next like couple minutes in the contest. Okay. 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 Then. Okay. Next one is graph theory. Oh. Uh. I feel like. I can take that. I'll take oh. math to your problem. Okay, okay, okay. I think so. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Okay. Next one is math. Okay. That's our that's our research hero right yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, next one's gonna be trees. I think hmm. I think I probably ought to do that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get you on the trees. Okay. Uh, so ha far so good. Ha how different do you feel like trees are from graphs? Because like trees are graphs, right? Tree, trees are graphs, yeah. Graphs have trees in them, spanning okay. trees. You know, they got all kinds of trees. It's like but you like can... there are different styles. Yeah, <laughs> like the yeah. like the link cut tree nonsense or whatever. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I think <laughs> yeah, trees, yeah, yeah. I think like some garbage that you have to keep on a tree and your data structures and yeah. like you know what I mean, like. Yeah, we're thinking yeah. about Seba's the data structures just like legend. It's like a lot of data structures involve trees at like a very core level. So I think it makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the next one is going to be constructive. That goes to me. <laughs> I guess that's like ad coder. Right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love constructive problems, ad hoc things, finding like patterns and clever ways to do yeah, things. That's my. Yeah. I enjoy that a lot. Okay. The next one's gonna be flows and matrix. Oh, right. that's right, right to the, straight to the center <laughs> column. <laughs> you seem very confident about that. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, we shouldn't give you trees, bro. Yeah. Uh, Saber solved the flow problem like two hours ago, three hours ago, in the yeah. set that we ran. It's great. <laughs> I'm wondering what the colors mean. I'm a little scared if there's like gonna be some reveal at the end. We'll uh, see. No, that's just the ICPC, the, like, the three ICPC colors. There is no, there is no like. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Right, what else we got? Okay, next one is dynamic programming. All right. I think, I think that's a Danny. There, yeah, there, there it is. Yeah. Put me in. Yeah. Okay. 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 Next one is data structures. Actually. All right. All right. Save us. Save us. Okay. Filled up. Dude, the okay. trees. Right. The trees. Right. Right. We solve some problems, hopefully. <laughs> okay. The next one is. 
Geometry. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. That goes. That goes in my call. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. okay. You definitely can expect some geometry at the world finals, right? Yes. Yeah. No. For sure. Yeah. 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 I love geometry. Okay. The next one is implementation. That's, that's gotta be me. I feel like that's got it. That's gotta go to Danny. Yeah, yeah. We. Yeah. Okay. For sure. And now we're gonna see the last one. All right. <laughs> okay. Drum. Drum. Drum roll. Is it for me? Greedy. Greedy. Oh, dude, we're going. Let's go. Oh, wow. Nice. nice. Yo. Oh, yeah. That's my, that's my kind of problem. Okay. So, do you feel you did well on this yeah. one? Yeah. I think yeah. we did pretty well. I think this could be this would be a pretty successful contest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. No no spoilers on here yeah, or anything, yeah. right? Oh, of course. No, <laughs> not at all. No, no, no. No one knows the problems. No one knows the problems. Okay. So, I hope you succeed and you solve at least 12 problems in the World Finals. Hey, sweet. Yeah, for oh, sure. I really hope so, too. That'd be, that'd be awesome. 12 problems. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. If, the, if I got stuck with the greedy man, it's so bad. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like I have, like, you need some kind of intuition that I was, I don't know if I don't have it or what, but it's like. Let's keep you coding some polynomials. When it comes to figuring out how to structure the, the structure the problem into a flow to figure out how to get it, that's like Sabo, yeah. you know? But the greed, greedy the stuff greed. just oh, sometimes no. doesn't come through. I don't have the greed, man. Yeah. Nice. I think we nailed this. We though. got 12 right. problems in the bag. Yeah. yeah. 12, yeah, yeah. 12 problems in the bag. 12 in the bag. Okay. Awesome. Uh, any final words to all the fans around the world and especially in Central Florida? ABC. Yeah. Always be coding. Always be coding. Always be coding. Always be coding. Shout out UCF. Yeah, Hello yeah. to the programming team lab. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. All right. Amazing. Best of luck to you. Awesome. And you. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. Have a good one. All right, <laughs> welcome everybody to Find the Marker. It's our favorite game here at ICPC <laughs> World Finals. Uh, today we have man. How do you spell man? Mm. How do you spell your name? Uh, M A N. M A N. That's yes. nice and easy. All right. Yes. Would someone mind grabbing my notes that just flew into the wind? <laughs> Joyce, can you do that? Thank you. There's one over there. Okay. All right, Ryu. R I Y U. R Y U. R Y U. Even easier. And it's a lowercase r, my bad. All right, and? M-E-N-T-H-O-L. M-E-N-T-H-O-L. Yeah. Menthol. Yeah. All right, we do that. All right, so we've got a game for you guys today. This is the problem categories game. So as you know, when you get your problem set in World Finals, you're probably gonna have someone working on the problems before you know what all the problems are. This is to simulate that, it's of similar difficulty, we have 16 problems here of categories you're probably familiar with, starting with constructive problems. Actually, starting with something else. Um, and what we're going to do is ask you these problems one by one. When I give you a problem, you guys have to decide which of the three of you will work on it. But there's a limit to four problems per person. So you're going to get 12 problems. you got to be careful not to oversubscribe anyone halfway through. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's start with the first uh, one. Can I, can I ask something first? Yeah, go ahead. By working on it, you mean the writing the code or looking solving the problem? Uh, we'll say we'll say both for now. Okay. I know in the real contest you could distribute them a little bit more, but to make it simple, we'll say yeah. Yeah. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. All right. First one we got greedy. greedy. Who's taking the greedy? Uh, Menhol. Menhol. All right. Menhol. Very good. Next one we got a game theory problem. Alice and Bob, your favorite contestants. Menhol. 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 <laughs> Brute force. Oh uh, man. Oh, that's gonna ask. Menhol would be funny. All right, strings. Man. 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 We got a constructive problem. Menhol. Menhol. <laughs> this is an interesting category, I gotta say, because these are very implementation heavy. This is just not, but. All right, we got math. Menhol. <laughs> oh, no. Menhol, you're done. Hope you had a good first half of the contest. <laughs> Flows and matching. Oh, man. Man, man? all right. Yeah. Somebody's Real, oh boy. <laughs> Here it comes in clutch last hour. Divide and conquer. Real. Real? Uh, Real. Yeah. Real. 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 All right. We got data structures. Oh, man. 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 <laughs> All right, Rio. Yeah. So, <laughs> you ready for your next three problems? Yeah. Yeah. We got graph theory. Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay yeah. We got DP. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And we got... Geometry. Oh, okay. It was combinatoric. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you guys happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. Overall, if you had to make any swaps, what, what would you change? Uh, I think that's a pretty good allocation. I think it's like uh, combinatoric to com mental. Yes. <laughs> and combinatoric to mental in mean? exchange for what? Greedy. Greedy. For greedy. Yeah, greedy. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> it's better. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's better. It's okay. There you go. All right. Very cool. Very cool. 
Um, well, hopefully this helped prep you for World Finals. We'll do one more quick game here. This is kind of my favorite. So we had Tourist and Andrew He and some other folks uh, look through all of the World Finals problems, and they categorized each of them into one of these 16 categories. So these are the ones you're missing. Implementation, trees, geometry, interactive. What I want you guys to try and guess, which categories had the lowest solve rate? So, for example, uh, DP. DP problems had an average solve rate of 37%, which means if a team solved a DP, saw a DP problem in a World Finals contest, there's a 37% chance they solve it. Which category has the lowest solve rate? Geometry. <laughs> we want three, three categories. What, which, which three? I think floor and matching. What did you say? Floor and matching? Yes. All right. Geometry. Geometry. Locking it in. Mm -hmm. And I think game theory, maybe. Game theory. Interesting. All right. That's, 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 a, that's a graph. That's a graph. Oh, graph theory. Sorry. Uh, game theory. Game theory. Yeah. Yes. You guys are in for a surprise. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, let's see. I have lost all of them. <laughs> uh, here we go. Okay. So, the three hardest are... No. Okay, well... First one is data structures. Data structures is really third hardest. Second hardest is geometry. You got it right. Very good. The hardest is a bit tricky. So, we measure these by average solve rate. Which means, if it occurred very, very rarely, that single instance could sway quite a bit. Mm -hmm. oh. Which category occurred super rarely? Interactive? In exactly. There's only been one World Finals interactive problem in history. There would be two. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You heard it here first, folks. So, yeah, so it's interactive, data structures, and geometry are the, th the three hardest. Oh. You want to guess the three easiest? Yeah. Uh, I think implementation. Then, uh, implementation? Yes. Yeah, okay. Brute force? Brute force. Uh, okay. DP. DP? 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 Final answer? Yes. Actually, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Implementation is close. Implementation is fourth. Oh. Fourth easiest. The three easiest, believe it or not, are game theory, uh, strings, <laughs> strings, and greedy. Greedy. The three easiest. Brute force is actually pretty tough. Brute force is fourth hardest. Oh. 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 Yeah. I think it's because the problems that get labeled as brute force, I feel like this is just a, a meta comment here, but I feel like Brute force and implementation are pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like people just call it a brute force problem if it's a hard implementation problem. They call it an implementation problem if it's an easy implementation problem. That's what I think, but maybe that's not the case. <laughs> so that's my hard read. All right, thank you guys for playing. Hope yeah. you enjoyed, and good luck on the contest. Yeah. Uh, thank you. See you around. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful Goodbye. dinner.